What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, we are back with another daily market update. It is Halloween. I don't know whether to say happy Halloween or not because this is one of it is the worst metaphysical holiday on earth. Uh the metaphysical damage that is done by this holiday if you know, you know. However, it's fun, and I encourage you to cleanse yourself after enjoying all the horrors uh, and sugar of this holiday. But let's get into it. We did make a funny little graphic right here, or Megan made this, of me and her as vampires And Happy Halloween. This is coming from the Gold Squad account. Make sure that you go follow the Gold Squad 777 on Twitter. Um... Let me know in the comments, do you like Halloween or do you support Halloween? I think that this year there are more people than ever before that are realizing how demonic Halloween really is and how horrible for kids it really is. I think that this year is that that's that number is higher than ever before. So, and that's just because more people are awake than ever before right at this moment. So one trillion dollars BTC. 20k right there um, i'm gonna move this over here 20k uh ethereum 1500 up 17 percent in seven days decent for ethereum right there we've got xrp absolutely just stagnant right stagnant uh, a lot of people complaining about that price action we're gonna talk at the end of this video if you watch until the end we're gonna talk about what is it four four XRP projects that I'm extremely bullish on. We have XLS20 going live today on Halloween if there's no problems uh, that will happen. All of the XRP community is celebrating this. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what XLS20 does and why it's a big deal that it is getting implemented. We have Hedera, you know, pretty dang stagnant. Even over the last 30 days, it's 4%, right? 4% over the last 30 days. No clear trend there. It's basically been uh, stagnant. Here's the bubble view. We've got XCN as the biggest gainer today. I'm not sure what that is and not sure what it does. We do have Dogecoin rebounding a little bit. We had the, the Dogecoin retracement, but Dogecoin is up again as Elon continues to make different moves. We're going to talk about Elon's uh, current moves that he's making. Uh, today, we've also had some really, really good XRP news Drop a like and comment if you want to see the XRP lawsuit finish already, because I definitely want to. Now, BTC, let's give it a little round of applause for Bitcoin staying above 20,000. Where do I think this is going to go? I think it's going to stay above 20,000, maybe dip below 19,000. Uh, ultimately, if you're a holder of Bitcoin, you've got to keep holding. If you're a trader of Bitcoin then this is kind of like paradise because this thing just does those little, you can scalp and, and day trade this pretty easily. Uh, but, you know, why wouldn't you opt to trade something like Dogecoin where you can easily predict it and it's pretty dang volatile. We're also celebrating today the Satoshi uh, white paper came out. This was 14 years ago today, uh, yet Satoshi remains anonymous. Remarkable. Yeah, and BS right? Satoshi, you know, like even with everything we have in 2022, we haven't been able to track down a guy who was like emailing people. Like he wasn't that anonymous. He was emailing people and doing all this talking to certain people. We haven't been able to track down who he was. Makes no sense. CIA is responsible in my opinion. Ha that's half a joke, half a joke. So these are some of the coins I am bullish on forever. We know this, but we're going to reinstate it. Quant, Algo, HBAR, XRP, ETH. What coin? Drop it in the comments. What coin are you bullish on forever? Um, all of these are utility plays that will come to fruition in the next five years easily. These should be the leaders uh, and building the foundational blocks of the new financial system. These are aiming to do that. <clears throat> right it's not these are not DeFi protocols that are like offering a new form of swapping blah 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 no these are ones that are actually trying to rewire the financial plumbing system 
uh, and that's why I'm bullish on them forever. I don't care that some of these have horrible tokenomics or have like the founders selling to fund operations. I care that these are setting up to be here for very, very long for a very long time and will resist the crumbling of all of the other coins. We know that 20,000 cryptos are not going to survive for that long, right? Only a, few, a select few will will make it. <clears throat> so even with XLS 20 today, we are not seeing uh, any kind of any upside movement for XRP, uh, the token, but the NFT space for the XRP, like the XRP NFT community is on fire today. Uh, make sure that you are following NFT Mason as well, my Twitter account for NFTs. Uh, make sure you go and follow that. Now, let's get into some of the good news. We have another bullish Forbes article on Ripple. Another bullish Forbes article. We always have these. This is from the same girl who always writes them, this Ros Roslyn Layton. Shout out to her for actually covering the most important case in all of crypto history right here. Uh, and basically, at the end of this, it says prominent legal S experts, okay, and then she names a few, agree that Ripple is on track to win the case. Worse for the SEC, one of these prominent legal experts predicts that SEC is going to lose, but also set a sweeping precedent that would limit or eliminate entirely the application of Howie on cryptos. The Ripple test is coming. The XRP test is coming. It is no longer going to be the Howie test, which is something from 1946 being applied to crypto, which is such a new age thing. We need an entirely new test for cryptocurrencies, and it is going to be based on what happens in the XRP case and the Ripple case. So prominent legal experts Everyone thinks they're going to win, right? Be careful because sometimes in crypto, when everyone thinks something, the opposite happens. Now, I am extremely confident that XRP will win the lawsuit. I am also, I've defined my stance on how XRP, how much XRP is going to pump. It will only pump like 20 to 80. I'm going to, I'm going to broaden the range 20 to 80%, 20 to 80% off of a, off of a lawsuit win or settlement is what I think, 20 to 80%. So let's see where 20 to 80% actually takes us, okay? So from right here at 45 cents, if we go up 20% 20, 20 we're at 54 cents. If we go up 80, okay, here's 64, that's 74 cents. Uh, and then let's see, if we zoom out a little bit more here, we can see where 80% would take us uh, from 45, 80% would take us to 82 cents. Okay. Maybe a dollar is possible off a lawsuit win. What do you guys think? Uh, lots, there's lots of morons who are brainwashed morons who are just like thinking I, I don't like XRP because I say what I just said, how it's only going to go 20 to 80% off a lawsuit win. Dude, XRP will go up thousands of percents in the long term. Uh, in the long, long term. I am still extremely bullish. I've been holding since all the way back here where there's not even data on the Binance chart. 2017, I've been holding. I have not sold any, right? I have not sold any unless it's to buy an NFT with my XRP. Uh, I have used some of it for buying NFTs. So, Bro, don't don't trip that I'm saying that it's only going to go up that much from a lawsuit win, right? Don't be tripping that it's only going to go up that much. W what that could do, a lawsuit win could restart the bull market and have the whole market go crazy again because XRP somewhat still does follow Bitcoin and it still follows the whole market, right? It's not entirely decoupled yet. I do want to see it decouple. Uh, but that is what that is the opinion I'm rocking with right now. Uh, I think a lot of people will actually agree uh, with that. But in the long term, dude, I'm talking we can easily get back all the way two bucks, three bucks, four bucks, five bucks easily. And in the very, very long term, I've said it before, 50, 10, 10, 20, 50, 100 is possible, right? 
And there's two routes that that could take. Either Bitcoin has to go to 50 trillion or 20 trillion. Bitcoin has to go all the way up there. And as that happens, the entire market will also flow in more money and the raising tide will lift all boats. Basically, they say sink all boats. Uh, I think the saying is, but the point is, as Bitcoin rises, ETH will be at 10 trillion. Imagine BTC, 25 trillion, ETH at 10, XRP at 5 trillion or whatever. Or the other option happens where XRP actually does take over and slaughter everything else. It just takes over everything and goes number one. I would love that. So, okay, moving on. John E. Deaton has filed an amicus brief for XRP holders. This is huge. He says, dedicated to XRP holders, it is truly a decentralized community brief. So finally, the XRP holders are having a voice or trying to have a voice even bigger than the one they have right now uh, in the XRP case. Here's the briefing on crypto law. It was filed from Deaton Law Firm, LLC. Uh, we know these guys. These are the three, right? Crypto Law. Uh, then you have Filin Law. Then you have John E. Deaton. Then you have uh, Jeremy Hogan. They all cross promote each other. You know, they all work together to cover the lawsuit side of this, which it's very deep and wordy and technical, right? Like, what the hell is in a micus brief, right? This shit is teaching a lot of people about law. If we actually look what an amicus brief is, it is an individual or organization who is not a party to a legal case, but who is permitted to assist a court by offering information, expertise, or insight that has a bearing on issues in the court. So he's trying to get this for the XRP holders because we have shit to say and it's important, right? That's huge news. Then we have this little screenshot from Emmy right here saying crypto means business by Ripple on wall street journal um and then a uh, uh, digital asset investor says wonder why ripple is advertising in a place that they can't do odl business it's because ripple doesn't care and they know they're going to win and be able to operate in the united states moving on we just had the 512 billion dollar asset manager called apollo is now offering bitcoin and crypto custody for institutions but guess what? What we care about is how does this relate to Hedera and HBAR? Well, this asset manager is on the Hedera Governing Council. We have a $508 billion, or sorry, $583 billion asset manager on the Hedera Governing Council, and they're making moves into crypto. And here's the announcement of that. This was uh, a more recent one, 6th of October, 2022. Very bullish. I can't wait for more uh, governing councils uh, members. As you can see, the Illuminati circle right here is only filled up to 27. And we've got all those slots to fill. Who do you want to see? I want to see Tesla, SpaceX, Twitter. I want to see someone mega. We already have Google, which is the mega of the mega. And we have so many other mega corporations, but I want to see more. We got Ubisoft, IBM. I don't even have to show you because, you know, this is what people don't know about HBAR. Or this is what people ignore about HBAR. Uh, and, you know, they can't get their mind around that you can't just leave the corporations behind. The corporations are going to get involved in some way. And this is essentially the first enterprise DAO made up of actual huge enterprises, Boeing, Google, ServiceNow, Shinhan Bank, Ubisoft, okay, huge, Deutsche Telekom, LG, Chainlink, Labs, like, it's massive, and then we had this 508 billion euro, uh, or is that, I don't even know these symbols, man, euro, uh, or is that great British pound, I always forget the symbol, let's see, GPB symbol, yeah, that's, okay, that's that one, okay, okay, then what the heck's the euro symbol? Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Mason, Crypto Mason exposed as a dumbass for getting the currency symbols. It's just because I'm so wrapped up in crypto tickers that I cannot remember the currency symbols. Okay. We have some crazy stuff. Leaked documents from the DHS outline their plan. DHS is Department of Homeland Security. They are outlining their plan to basically police disinformation. Uh, they plan to target inaccurate information on the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic and the efficiency of the jabs, etc. Okay, 
Facebook is involved in this. They've created a special portal for DHS and government partners to report disinformation directly. So Facebook obviously is for the matrix. DHS, you are for the matrix 100%, right? Just policing disinformation. I mean, dude, you should be able to say whatever you want to say on this. Like, come on. Okay, so those some leaked documents right there. Apparently, JP Morgan and Twitter might have been involved in this. They attended one of the discussions about this, um, about that we need a media infrastructure that is held accountable. This is true, but it, it needs to be carefully made. So we did have another thing from FTX right here. FTX and GameStop are coming out with something. It says coming soon. I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, maybe some kind of NFT market or NFT or something. Uh, or listing the GameStop stock. I don't know. But FTX wanted to warn you about that. So before we get into the four XRP projects that I'm bullish on for XLS20. Twitter is planning to start charging $20 per month for verification? What? So everyone's going to be able to be verified for $20. Is that what they are saying? Now, what I see Elon Musk doing is kind of bossing up the Twitter revenue, uh, the revenue here. He's pumped Twitter Blue so many times, right? He added the edit button, they, or they added the edit button to Twitter Blue. They're pumping Twitter Blue, and they're going to change it to $20, Okay. $20. So imagine how many verified users. How many verified users on Twitter? Okay. We don't know. About four, about 400,000. Okay. So he's going to charge them $20 if they do not, uh, or if they want to keep their verification. You lose the badge. You lose the blue check mark uh, if you do not pay $20 a month. So 20 times 400,000, 8 million extra per month, just because people don't want to lose their badge. So he's bossing up the Twitter revenue per month. Um, so let's get on to XLS 20. Okay. XLS 20 has just went live today. It's going live today. This is introducing native NFT support to XRP ledger gives developers access to NFT minting, trading and burning functions. Now, this is without the use of smart contracts. XLS 20 will include cutting edge features like automatic royalties, co-ownership of assets and more. OK, this is insane. This is going live. Now, here are my four projects. Sologenic is definitely one of them that I am bullish on. Uh, as you can see, they're pointing out that the wait is over. This is happening. Everyone's getting their collections ready. As you can see, we can mint. We can do whatever we want with XLS 20, very advanced uh, stuff here. Then we have X Spectre, which I'm extremely bullish on as well. They're almost sold out. Uh, if we scroll down here, pre-sale is nearly sold out. You guys know I, I am partnered with X Spectre. Uh, however, this mention of them, just so we're clear, has not been paid for. They did not pay me to mention them in this. However, we have done sponsored videos before for X Spectre because they're a great project building on the XRP ledger. Also, this is not sponsored by Sologenic. However, ha I have done solo, uh, sponsored Sologenic posts in the past. However, this one's not. XRP Ledger Punks right here is one of the ones that I'm extremely bullish on as well. This is not sponsored. Uh, the X Punk price is pumping as well. If we head over to their link in the bio, we can go and check it on Sologenic uh, or, or on the on XRP Dex. Let's buy it on the on XRP Dex. We can click that and let's see, this is the one day. Okay, so they don't have any historical data uh, on here. Let's go back actually, and then go to the Sologenic. I don't think they even have it on here. Let's go Sologenic uh, and we will be able to see the X-Punk uh, thingy right here. So let's go X-Punk, let's type it in, X-Punk. Uh, okay, it's not, it's not popping up here. Uh, okay, where is it? Why are they not on here? Have I been, am I behind on this? Who knows, but we can see on this graph right here, I guess the historical data wasn't loading, but one day it's pumping, it's pumping. Now the final one I am bullish on is XRP Junkies. This is not sponsored. However, we do have a sponsored giveaway coming from the XRP Junkies. We're gonna give away 500 XRP. Uh, 
and I might I might run an XRP giveaway for XLS 20. I should do that. But make sure that you go and check out those projects. That is all we've got for the daily market update. I love every single one of you. Have an amazing Halloween. Cleanse yourself after and goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,